Hello again, everyone. It's Jim here with a rarity, uh, another video uh, on beating obesity. Uh, the second video of the weekend, and uh, I just released one yesterday, and I'm going to do another one today. I know uh, I think this is the first time I've ever done that, so uh, stand by for this bonus coverage. Uh, maybe the motivated by the by the sunshine uh, or, or what it is, I don't know, but. I've, I've had in mind, this is going to be a short video, um, I just, I've, I've had this in mind to do for some time and I thought finally uh, I'm going to do it today. And really what it is is I just want to shine a bit of a spotlight on some, some YouTube channels that, I've, that I subscribe to and I follow and I just want to give a, a, a shout out uh, to some of these uh, because of they interest me and I have a feeling that uh, some of uh, you all out there might find them interesting also. I mean, I don't know how everyone else is. I mean, the way I am, I'm always on the lookout for uh, smaller channels with real people, uh, you know, that are doing self-experimentation with, with diet and nutrition. Uh, weight loss or other health issues they're dealing with, uh, trying to employ nutrition to overcome those obstacles. <clears throat> you know, uh, I've rounded up a list of, of five uh, that I'm gonna uh, run through today. And uh, some of them just came from, uh, I might have got a referral on Twitter or, or another YouTube channel, or sometimes in the YouTube, uh, the YouTube recommendations that pop up you know, when you're scrolling through them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, what piques my curiosity is if I'll see a video that was released, let's say recently, within the last week, and it has a low number of views, you know, maybe 40 or, or five or, or 100 views. It's a low number and the topic looks like it's something interesting. I click on it to see why, why does it have a low number of views. And a lot of times you'll find these hidden gems. Uh, these was like I said, real people, uh, um, just that are sharing, like I am. I mean, I'm. I started with a low number of views, and uh, I mean, I'm not anything massive now, but it's grown uh, in eight or ten months. You know, way beyond what I what I thought it might. Uh, I routinely get, uh, you know, uh, 500 views, and I think I'm up to 1,200 uh, subscribers, but. The, these small voices, these voices out there, I find them fascinating. You know, if I see a video released on YouTube uh, within the last few days or a week and it's got five to 6,000 or 10,000 views, I can kind of automatically just know it's not something for me. It's, <laughs> and, and I hate to use a, a blanket generalization like that, but it's usually true, it's usually more uh, commercial or more geared for a younger audience or more bells and whistles or, or just kind of, I don't know, kind of kiddified or whatever. I'm looking for more real people, adults, uh, not a lot of bells and whistles, just uh, real people, real stories. So I'm passing on a uh, recommendation uh, for, for these, I think it's five channels. You know, just trying to, we're all, I, I can kind of relate to people who are challenging the, the dogma. You know, we've all been helped uh, for all our lives by, you know, the, the government, the guidelines, uh, nutritional, you know, the, the, the food pyramid, six to 10 servings of grain and, 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 and uh, fruits and vegetables, stuff yourselves with that uh, all day long. Um, the American Heart Association, go low fat, uh, you know, uh, all the, the weight loss and all, all the advice we just, people everywhere are finding out that this is all basically a load of crap. And, and uh, I kind of feel like, you know, all of us are part of a revolution that's this slowly gaining steam and it's gonna, one day it'll overturn the, it'll, it'll be a full, will take over, but it's not going to be a top-down revolution. It's going to be the, the top will just crumble, and that's going to take, 
that's going to take people retiring or, or, or dying off for that paradigm to change. But it will eventually change because it is largely uh, based on a lot of junk science and nonsense. That, that's my opinion. Uh, so I, I kind of identify with these small voices, real people who are saying, wait a minute, this, this, is a, this isn't right. I want to I wanna do my own test. I want to verify on myself if I eat meat or if I eat once a day or if I eat low carb, you know, what happens? Uh, what is the result? Uh, you know, and, and track my health. And, or, you know, rather than, I, I'm diabetic, rather than, uh, you know, doing what my doctor says, maybe, maybe diet, maybe I should uh, uh, look at the dietary approach first. Or, you know, just, this is what interests me, people that are challenging the dogma. So without further ado, I'm just going to run down uh, each of these five channels and give a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of an introduction. And of course, I'm going to link to all of them uh, down below. And I'm hoping that uh, uh, you'll at least take a look at them. And uh, I find them interesting. Uh, these are not uh, channels that put up a lot of content all the time, but it's it's interesting content nonetheless. Um, and uh, I just encourage you to take a look at them and, uh, and, and subscribe or comment. Uh, I think some of them are really looking for a, a wider audience or, 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 or could benefit from uh, increased interaction from, uh, from, from others. So uh, I invite you to do that. Okay, my, my first uh, channel recommendation uh, is uh, Glenn Meditation. That's the name of the channel. And I, I saw this uh, actually was refer uh, actually Mike at uh, KetoMad had uh, interviewed uh, Glenn Meditation uh, on his channel as part of his uh, 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 series of interviews with uh, interesting people. So that's where I first uh, picked up on Glenn Meditation, and I started following his channel. I mean, Glenn, I, f I find it fascinating. He's he started a, a carnivore diet. Uh, he, he suffers from Parkinson's, and he. He said, uh, you know, I've, I've tried a lot of things. I tried a lot of different medications, but I want to see what this carnivore diet might, what effect it might have uh, on my Parkinson's symptoms. And I find that fascinating. And he's, I think he's now up to, uh, well, he started with a 30-day challenge, and I think he's now up to 60 or, or past 60. Uh, uh, he's, uh, I think he's seen some benefits. Uh, I think many of his symptoms have, have sort of uh, uh, shown some improvement in his, in, even in his medication and uh, various, I mean, he's not cured obviously or whatever, but he's seeing enough positive that he's going forward with it. So anyway, he's an interesting fellow uh, and I, I enjoy his videos uh, a, a lot. And uh, so check out. Uh, this is, you can see here what, what his channel looks like, Glenn Meditation. Uh, the next channel that I want to uh, plug is, uh, it's uh, Cynthia B. And uh, her, her channel, she, uh, she's also on a, on a carnivore uh, uh, a diet experimentation. And I think, as of now, I think she's somewhere around uh, at the 30-day mark. Uh, she just uh, released a video today. Now, now she's a younger lady, uh, a very intelligent, very systematic approach uh, uh, to the diet. And I think she's uh, basically, if I can recall, looking to improve like uh, digestive issues, skin issues, overall health. But uh, it, it seems like she's doing a lot of research along the way. Uh, while she's on this diet, sort of like I did. I started into it not really knowing anything, and then, then I kept investigating further and further and further. But um, I think she's, uh, is she 30 or 60? I forget if she's, uh, maybe she's up to 60 days now. But uh, I think according to her last video, she's like, yeah, you know, this is, this is pretty good, and I'm probably not going to go back. But uh, um, I, I really enjoy her videos because of uh, the, there's um, some balance there and, and uh, some some thoughtfulness. 
And uh, again, it's a younger person, uh, not that, you know, there's no age of discrimination in this movement, but uh, I encourage you to check out the channel also, uh, Cynthia B. Uh, the next channel recommendation I have is just called J Pouch. And this, this young man, uh, you talk about challenges. Uh, I didn't know what a J-pouch is. I, I had to look it up. But uh, if you've had this procedure done, you, you've, it's a result, of, I guess, of having uh, ulcerative colitis, uh, Crohn's. It means that uh, you know, sections of your digestive system have been removed. And you, I mean, I, I just, I, I'm almost speechless uh, listening to this. I mean, again, this is a young man. Uh, he's he's very uh, forthcoming and honest. He uh, has documented uh, all the different procedures he's been through, um, and it's 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 quite a story. Um, he's he is trying carnivore diet <clears throat> and has been. I think uh, I don't know how long he's been doing it. If it's thirty days, sixty days, or whatever. But you know, I, I think. He's seen some benefits from it, uh, and and if any, you know, my gosh, if if it can help someone in, in his condition and and, uh, and living with uh, uh, the type of obstacles that he has, I mean, more power to him. But anyway, this is this is one uh, you know I, I I would check out. I mean, uh, it's a story. I mean, it for me it was I learned I learned from. From watching his channel and listening to his videos, um, what a person goes through uh, if, if you find yourself in this condition. So, uh, Jay Pouch is uh, my next uh, recommendation. My next uh, recommendation is a channel I think it just launched yesterday, and I just discovered it yesterday. Uh, Stephen Raphael. Uh, he's he's an interesting guy. I find him to be immensely funny. I don't know if he's trying to be funny, but he is funny to me. Um, what's not funny, he's got some very serious health issues that he's had. Uh, I wrote down here uh, heart disease, he has a number of bypass uh, surgeries, stents, diabetes, uh, numerous heart issues uh, or health issues that he's dealt with all his life. But now his story is. Um, Recently, he's went to OMAD, one meal a day, and he's just totally enamored with that and seen so many benefits. He's, he's lost weight. Uh, he feels good. He's on top of the world, and he wants to share his story. And it's, it's like I said, it's a fledgling channel, and he, uh, he, he wants to help and share. And uh, so I uh, found his channel, and I subscribed, and... Uh, and uh, I told him I would I'd try to help uh, promote him. He's looking to share with as many people as possible. So Stephen Raphael, uh, interesting guy. I find him to be funny. Uh, check out. He's only got a few videos, but uh, um, that's, that's my, uh, my uh, recommendation, Stephen Raphael. And my final recommendation is uh, one I just, I just saw somebody on Twitter uh, reference this yesterday. And I checked it out. It's, I hope I can pronounce this right, Zaid's Experience, or yeah, Zaid's Experience, Z-A-I-D-S, Experience. Uh, of course, this is linked below. You don't have to try to search for it based on my pronunciation. Um, yeah, an interesting young man, very thoughtful, very candid, uh, very open. Now, he's, he's, uh, had an issue, you know, he, he's never quite satisfied with his weight. He's always tended to be a, a little heavy and um, didn't know why, you know, did everything right. Uh, very fit guy. I mean, this is a CrossFit uh, guy, uh, very, very fit, um, active lifestyle, um, but just always not satisfied with, with his weight. So he's been a carnivore, he just, I think he, uh, as I recall, he's 15 days into it. Uh, so he's, he's fresh off the, off the, into the experiment. Uh, 
and he's just blown away so far. Uh, he's lost weight. He's in. He's still in adaptation, but uh, he's just. He's just says this is this is tremendous, and he's obviously going to go through and, and finish his 30 days and, and probably beyond. I, I find most people, if you give it a proper go, uh, carnivore, you don't go back. There's just no reason to. Uh, it just it just sucks you in. But um, anyway, uh, I found his to be a, an intelligent, uh, honest approach. His, his channel isn't only about uh, his carnivore. He's also got some other interests uh, it seems to be artistic and, and, and different things, but most, most recently he's uh, uh, doing some updates on his carnivore experience. So that, that's another one uh, to check out. Um, anyway, I, I hope, I just wanted to pass along uh, and give a, a promotion uh, to shine a little spotlight on, on some of the smaller channels of real people uh, doing you know real things, overcoming obstacles, trying to improve themselves, because I find them interesting. These are the types of channels I look for on a daily basis and follow and I even interact with them. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe some of you do too. Um, that's it. Uh, just wanted to do these plugs today and, uh, and then we'll go on. Uh, hope you uh, find some of them interesting. If you do, if you, know, if you uh, have any experience with, with any of these or have Recommendations of your own, you know, pass them on. Let's uh, I, l let's let's keep sharing, uh, you know, and, and building the community fr from the ground up. So, um, and uh, some of the people, some of these voices, they're they're trying to be heard, and they need assistance. You know, you can't go and buy a book or or you turn on the TV and get good advice or even go to your doctor. You can't count on any of that. So, really, a lot of us are counting on interaction, uh, you know, on social media or on YouTube like this uh, in, with each other, with real people who are doing it uh, and not just uh, uh, selling books or, uh, you know, attached to some guild or, or, or product or other uh, special interests. So, um, okay, that's about it. I don't want to make a short video into a long video, so I'm going to uh, sign off this time for the weekend. Take care, everyone, and see you next time. Bye now.